Hey guys, this is Ron Got One here. In today's video, I'm going to be counting down the top 10 most haunted places in South Dakota. Anyway, guys, before I start this video, please follow me on TikTok, Spirit Halloween Got One, Instagram, Spirit underscore Halloween dot man, and the YouTube Moshian World. Please like and subscribe to my, please just like and subscribe to there. Please turn on your post notifications there. Please learn how to call them down below in the comments section of this video there. And also, please share this video with your friends there. Anyway, guys, to start this video, so here are the top 10 most haunted places in South Dakota. Number 10, in Yankton, South Dakota, we got the Dakota Theater for number 10. This historic theater opened in 1902, changed owners and names on several occasions. Theater patrons and cast have reported signing a spectral face floating through the seating area after closing hours, as well as feeling cold spots, hearing screams, and a blood stain, which appears during certain productions. 76, 76, excuse me, 76% haunted. Here it is right here. Dakota Theater. Dakota Theater, right here. Alright guys, so number, number 9. In so Soex Falls, South Dakota, is the Pettigrew House Museum for number nine. This historic museum was built in 1899. I'm sorry, 1889. And those on guided tours of the building may, may get more than they bargained for. The building is rumored to be haunted by the wife of a former attorney who owned the building. Staff claimed to have seen her inspecting the building and occasionally smelling occasionally smell her perfume. The other apparition reportedly seen is that of a young girl in a white dress who has been seen on the landing of the stairs. According to witnesses, on some occasions, her face is covered in blood. Okay, 86% haunted. That's the Pity Grew House Museum right here. Guys, 86% haunted. Number A, we got is the old, and number A, also in Soex Falls, South Dakota, we got the old Mainahaha Courthouse Museum. This historic courthouse is now the county museum and is believed to be haunted by many different spirits. Staff and visitors claim to have heard someone falling down the stairs and have heard disembodied footsteps walking between various rooms. Various visitors have also seen an elderly man sleep sweeping in one of the court rooms who vanishes one approach as well as certain as curtains moving by themselves, strange voices and icy presences. Here we go. Eighty six percent haunted. The old Mine Haha Courthouse Museum, guys. Right here. Also an eighty six percent haunted. Good rating. Number seven, also, and finally in Soaks Falls, South Dakota, we got 715 South Phillips, South Phillips Avenue. This historic apartment block is believed to be, to be haunted by the apparition of a barefooted man who has been seen wandering through the corridors. Other paranormal activity reported here reported includes disembodied footsteps, cold spots, ghostly voices, and bizarre knocking noises. Here it is, 73% haunted, okay rating, here it is right here, good rating, 73% haunted. Number six, we got is Elks Theater in Rapid City, South Dakota. Although this historic theater has been remodeled on several occasions, since its opening in the early 12th century, patrons and staff say that resident ghost has never left. Known fondly as Jimmy, as Jimmy, staff claim the spirit has been malevolent and is occasionally seen seated in the main theater after closing hours. 88% haunted. This is Elks Theater. Elks Theater, guys. Right here. Go. Elks, Elks Theater.
Number five, Stanford's, also in Rapid City, South Dakota. The, this diner is believed to be haunted by several spirits. Although the origin of the haunting as, is as of yet unknown, staff have reported plates flying off shelves, disembodied footsteps, and the apparition of a man in a green jacket walking up and down the corridor. Fortunately, that's not a really good rating so for Stanford's. It's uh, about a 57, so not really believable or anything. 57% haunted. Okay. Number four, Wild Bill Saloon and Steakhouse in Deadwood, South Dakota. Patreons and staff have reported an, an arcade machine in the saloon that plays by itself for hours when no when there is no one around and when the building has closed for the night. Strange flashing lights have been seen by people from outside in the street and it's rumored that outlaw Bill Hitchcock haunts the historic saloon himself. 100% haunted. Good best rating ever so far right now. The Wild Bill's Saloon and Steakhouse right here. Here it is. 100% haunted, guys. It's not disappointed. Number three, the Herrick Hotel. Number, number three, the Herrick Hotel. Patreon... Patreons have heard the ghostly laughter of a child who lived in the, at this historic hotel when it was a blind school. Others have reported hearing footsteps on the upper floor of the building when no one is around. Here it is, the Herrick Hotel. And the rain about this one is a 88% haunted. B, which is a B, good rating in Gary, South Carolina. I'm sorry, Gary, South Dakota. Number two, the Dane Villain in Voiberg, South Carolina, in Voiberg, South Dakota. There are reports that this historic building of people seeing a strange glowing apparition floating through the main bar area when the building was closed down for the night. Strange noises and dust and disembodied footsteps have also been heard when there is no one around. It is unclear whenever the inn is still in operation. 83% haunted. This is the Dane Villain. And Boy V Berg, South Dakota, eighty three percent, eighty three percent haunted guys, right here. Good. Number two, and finally for number one, also in Deadwood, South Carolina, we got is the Franklin Hotel. 84 person haunted, so that's a B. Guests have reported hearing footsteps following them around the historic hotel. A housekeeper quit after seeing a man in period clothing watching her while she was cleaning. People walking past have reported the sensation of being watched. Watched. There you go, guys. There's Franklin Hotel right here. Pretty cool. 84 person haunted, which would be a B. Pretty cool, guys. And this is in Deadwood, South Dakota. Number one. So yeah, anyway guys, so that was my video on the um, top 10 most haunted places in South Dakota. Anyway guys, for writing this video, please follow me on TikTok, Spirit Halloween Got One, Instagram, Spirit underscore Halloween Dot Man, and in YouTube, Monster Jam World, please like and subscribe to there. Please turn on your post notifications there. Please leave a nice comment down below in the comment section of this video there. And also please share this video with your friends there. With your, with your friends there. A anyway guys, this is Scrolling Got One signing out. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.